Mrs. Gandhi. Then that. Uh, Put the hand means what? Yeah, that uh, that time the. Um, I remember the foreign minister is uh, Narasimharav. Okay, the diaspora Tamils uh, they invited and they met the Narasimharav and that uh, I'm Mr. Amudalingam is opposition leader, I think. They have the um, talks with the Indian uh, government politically. That's the first step that they made it Timbu talk. They call the Sri Lankan side and uh, you know the uh, every every side of the Tamil they let talk and that one failed. The same time before that I think that uh, Indian uh, government gave the training to the uh, youths, Tamil youths. So we have the base in Tamil Nadu at that time, base in India. Uh, we have the, especially the four group, the very strong group that, so that uh, India train and arm them. So it's uh, actually that's I say this one is uh, the uh, part of that uh, Gold War time, and again this, uh, you know, the um, that ten be arm and that uh, uh, Mrs. Gandhi idea that uh, maybe she can, you know. Uh, bring this issue to a certain level, then settle peaceful way, something like that. Then, unfortunately, she gone. So again, that uh, Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi came, and he is a modern leader. No? He is he want to uh, he is very fast and modern leader. No? So that uh, his approach are different. No? Uh, again, this um, LTT is uh, you know the raw involved in these groups. This uh, Sandra Gandhan, you know, Sandra Hassan, you know, this uh, SJV Selvan I am son, he also support to the Tello. He is also close linked with the Tello. So this kind of misunderstanding with the uh, Prabhagran and this uh, row is already started. At that time, during yeah. Rajiv Gandhi's time. Yeah. So actually, um, then the uh, Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi and the President J.R. Uh, Jayavatana tried to sort it out some way that uh, uh, again that uh, you know the LTT they don't accept something some certain level but the, he pushed actually Rajiv Gandhi pushed LTT and come to agree but unfortunately it's, uh, LTT rejected when in the late, so and then IPKF came. IPKF came. IPK, before IPKF, when IPKF came here, that time LTT are a little bit all right with the India, but IPKF came here after some misunderstanding grow up, grow up. So it's a, you know, it's a again start war with the IPKF. Can you tell us, for once and for all? Did Prabhakaran plan the Rajiv Gandhi assassination? Yeah, that uh, exactly everyone knows this truth. Uh, because uh, who involved in this murder, uh, example, the Swarajan, he is a LTT, he is an intelligent unit of Gautamman, you know. So this, um, even that uh, who got arrested at uh, that time, they know also this story. So it's a well planned and done with actually the Prabhairan and Puttam and it's everyone know the truth, you know. So that's a, this point that, okay, this young guy, I want to take a, one minute. I want to say to Indian people and especially the Gandhi family, okay, uh, for I want to apologize for these Prabhagaran mistakes, okay. It's, um, you know, that uh, please uh, forgive us. We beg you, we are, our people are struggling here, okay. Please uh, help our people to uh, live as a human. Uh, sorry for all this. Uh, we know that, uh, 
feeling of a son of Gandhi, how my daughter of the, it's, it's a human, it's a, it's a father and daughter, how attachment, you know, so. that even sometime I left my daughter, I feel very <coughs> sad, you know. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a, you know, the family sentiment sometimes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, it's a, take, take your time. Yeah, this, uh, but I feel this, uh, when you ask this, uh, Gandhi, the daughter and son, they, they feel that, uh, you know, the, how they feel their mm -hmm. every time. You're basically asking the government of India uh, you are actually telling them that engage with Sri Lanka uh, in a manner that allows for a peaceful settlement, peaceful resolution and which gives the Tamils in Sri Lanka a chance to develop and forget the past. Exactly. That, um, you know, the <coughs> we are in this country uh, if you look uh, 50 years back, our people were educationally, uh, economically, uh, they are first. Today, if you look back, uh, we are behind uh, 50 years. So, the point is that uh, these people should uh, uh, live and they should uh, uh, face, they should uh, work on the modern technology and new era, you know. It's, um, uh, it's uh, these people, you see that uh, if you go in your country, any corner have internet facility, computer, if you go Mulanga will, they don't have any facilities. Uh, or they should have nothing. Mulati will nothing. <laughs> they are in the uh, 50 years back. So I, I feel that our people uh, should uh, live as a human, you know. We can, they paid already the high price. They don't have anything to lose. So are you also therefore looking for uh, support from uh, politicians in Tamil Nadu? Exactly. That uh, especially the um, uh, Tamil Nadu people, they are very emotional uh, people. Uh, they are, they, we are same language and we are same religion, some kind of uh, link we have. Uh, that uh, Emotion we should use as a positive emotion, not negative emotion. You see that uh, if this, uh, this uh, Tamil Nadu population, if they use their, uh, their assets, uh, their thinking as a positive, it's a, it's a matter of weak to develop our people. You know, the, this uh, so should... You, you are saying that... Uh, um, the people of Tamil Nadu, if they want and if they are positive, uh, they can bring change within a week. Yes, it's a, you know that uh, even that uh, now I got uh, uh, three person come from Tamil Nadu to uh, make a mushroom project. They have technology, they have how to know. Also then another team coming next week. Uh, for food production, for, you know, they are going to teach and start up the life of these people. Malaysian, they are coming, Malaysian, Indian origin, they are coming to teach something. So the problem is that, that I want to, please to, I want to say to the Tamil Nadu politicians, especially the um, Vaiko, Nadumaran, Seeman, uh, and this um, uh, Karnanadi, 
all. Here or over, government and TNA are talking. Let them talk. Let them find okay, the way to solve. Let them give them some time. Okay. The people are here, it's a enough pain. So if you can help really to these people, if you have the feeling, okay, really let Tamil Nadu people help to these affected people, more affected people. You can say many reasons this uh, government have to do or uh, government not let to do. Nerdo is there. Okay, we form a NGO. In Klinochi, A9 Road, we have the office. You can come, anybody can come. If you want to come, I will arrange the NGO, this uh, MOD clearance. You can come and you can work with the people. Genuine humanitarian project. Okay. I don't involve any politics. We don't have any politics. Only humanitarian works. Okay. So that uh, I'm saying again uh, to Tamil Nadu politician, don't put any controversial, any... Don't let our youths or any, our generation to again another circle of struggling, okay? So Enough. You're, so you are asking uh, the Tamil Nadu politicians to forget the past. But in order to forget the past, the truth of the past must also be told. Um, you were a senior member of, of LTT, you know the truth. Isn't it a fact that several politicians and political parties uh, did support and did push several Tamil uh, people into violence. Uh, isn't it a fact? Can you take names and political parties and say the truth? You see that um, our struggle, okay, that um, uh, we sometimes depend on Tamil Nadu, okay. Uh, actually, when we start our struggle, it's a very clean, very, uh, very, we are very, uh, firm on our policy. We don't involve any Indian politics or Indian. It is our problem. We go for India, sometime buy something and come back. We don't meet anyone, okay. It is our beginning of struggle, okay. The problem is uh, when we met some politician in Tamil Nadu for some purpose. Example, like our first uh, uh, attempt that uh, Pravaran and uh, Mahameshwaran fight on the street, then they put in the prison, uh, the police station, then we want to uh, take them back, then we contact the politician, then start up this in influence. Then this one is uh, come, you know, that uh, like a, you, they, then we know that what is the real problem. Actually, this uh, in Tamil Nadu, still, you know, that. Uh, Periyar, DK Periyar, DK party is a movement. He want the Travada Nadu. That means Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra, they want separation from the north. Okay. This is uh, propaganda and he started organization. From this base, Annathurai Karnanadi came out. Okay. But this one failed course, okay. But still have some people with this policy, Viramani, Ramakrishnan, uh, Mani, Ko. These people still have this mindset, you know. They don't accept the changes, world are changing, you know. Sometimes we have the, some dream, but this one, Possible or not, we have to evaluate, we have to calculate now. So the Travadar Kalagam is already 100 years, the Periyar is, he passed away and everything gone. Still they have these ideas. So these ideas, they have passed to Prabhagara. Okay, Andri Brahmin's ideas. That's Prabhagara carry their idea and their goal to make a struggle against the Brahmins. Mm. 